So it's this island of eggy stuff floating on this sauce. It's so yummy. Oh, give me a biscuit, you're setting me off. Oh, we should put some croissants to really get us in the mood. What's French for piles and verrucas then? And we had breakfast in bed. You should have seen what they bought us. I'm sure I've put about a stone. Word of advice, no cabbage soup. Whoa, what is that smell? <gasps> oh, bonjour, bonjour. Truffle, bonbon. <laughs> no, I need coffee. Well, you don't know what you're missing out on. Me and Scott had such a good time. Yeah, it was lovely. And the good thing is she's going to tell you all about it and what that sock smell is. It's not a sock, it's a camembert in the fridge. Oh, we can have it on baguettes at lunch if you like. I hope so will never recover. I love the French. Nothing's wasted. Pig's trotters, intestines, horse. They even cook rabbit with the eyes in. I'm glad you had a fun time though. Let's just hope Scott translated the menu properly. Take a seat. Sorry, one second. Excuse me. No eating in reception. Are you okay? Would you like a drink of water? Thanks. It was just so romantic. The room with the view over the river and the vines. Mm, well, the frogs are good at wine. I'll give them that. And the food. The cheese, the cakes. <laughs> well, that's me done. You can keep your chateau and gatto. I have Mrs Bingham and her stomach ulcer to contend with. Yeah. Work to do. Thanks for showing though, it all sounds très bon. Yeah, it was actually. And so was Scott. He's so thoughtful and caring. Really sweet. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time. Look, um, what I said about Scott, I was just looking out for you. You know that, yeah? Okay, well, that's how you see it. Yeah, I will. Look, I can't talk now. Of course I'm going to tell him. I just have to wait for the right time. I'll call you back. I've got to go. I rang. Why didn't you answer? Battery's dead. Anyway, what are you doing here? Well, Liz said you'd come. More to the point, what are you doing here? What's wrong? Nothing. I'll wait if you want. It's just woman stuff, okay? I'm fine. Remember we're meeting Paul later? You said. You still up for it? Of course. Look, I'm okay. You don't have to wait. Mm. Right, well, I'll see you later then. I'll come and find you, yeah? I love you. Alex Bradley? Mrs. Smith's cancelled and Mr. Craig has rescheduled. Oh, good. Time for another coffee then. Oh dear. Late night partying, was it? I don't know how you youngsters do it. Dread to think what my jacket's up to. Actually, I was in bed early. I just didn't get much sleep. You to do more exercise, tie yourself out. <laughs> so, the urine tests confirm it. You were right, you're pregnant. Is that what you were hoping? Yeah, yes. Is everything okay? Any questions, any problems? No. No, I... I'm fine. It's great. Good news. Okay. The, um, the sickness might last a bit longer, I'm afraid, but there are things that can help. And, uh, here... We have some fun bedtime reading and explain a few things. You'll need to make an appointment with a midwife. Um, I'll refer you to St. Phil's for the blood test and the scan, okay? Fine. Does your partner... Not exactly. We talked about it maybe happening. It's okay, though. He'll be as chuffed as I am. We were going to get engaged anyway. Oh, great. Exciting time for you both, then. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
Scott was amazing. I mean, proper conversations. I did French at school, but it's not the same. No. Not that I needed to, because Scott did everything. Ordered the food, the wine, even got breakfast in bed. It was lovely. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Look, Michelle, I know that you said that you were looking out for me, but I don't need you to. Scott's been wonderful. Good, well, I'm happy for you. Are you? Because it doesn't seem that way sometimes. I understand if you're jealous. <laughs> jealous? Maybe I have been going on a bit. And I know that you don't have a boyfriend, and you haven't had one since I've known <laughs> I'm not jealous. It. It's difficult to be on your own, but I'm sure you'll find someone. Maybe you can try the internet or something. You never know. Excuse me. You left this. Thanks. Oh, are you oh. okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm just pregnant. It's okay. It'll be fine, you know. We're always here if you want to talk about anything. I don't, but thanks. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing, I'm coming. Oh, I told you I'd come and find you. Come on, let's go. We're late. I was just explaining that she's welcome. Wait, are you coming or what? Oh. We're here if you want to talk. Well, the doctor say. Oh, nothing important. What's this? I'm pregnant. He's just not... I don't know. Something going on there. Yeah, they're having a baby and she, for one, is very happy about it. Well, I don't like him. You don't have to. He's a bully. Look, this is a couple we know nothing about. Now, Alex said herself that the dad was going to be happy having the baby and they're engaged, so... She's marrying him? <laughs> this is their decision. It's not for us to interfere. Yeah, well, you can't always stand back and watch. At least someone bother to help me. I can't believe it. What the hell were you thinking? Tony. I got retakes in two days. And you dropped this on me. I flunked this, I'm out of here. I got nothing, and you knew that. And now you go and get pregnant. No, no way. Look. No, 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 no. Look, you get an abortion, yeah, and we sort this now. What? We get rid of it. This is a baby, not an it. We ain't having it. Look, are you coming or do I have to drag you there myself? So, dinner tonight then. Practice your French. Oh, oui, oui, monsieur. A quelle heure? La magique. Oh, la la. Tu es magnifique. <laughs> You're in a quiet moment. Yeah, something like that. Well, you want to make the most of it, that's what I say, because as soon as you get married and have kids, life grabs you by the proverbials, and then it's all mayhem, madness, tantrum and tears. Don't mind if I do. explain that you have all the patients to see. It's okay. But he wasn't listening. Are you a doctor here? Because if not... Oh, yeah, everyone should just uh, calm down. Thanks, Ruth. Why don't you guys grab a chair? Tell him. We want an abortion. Okay, and are you both in agreement about this? Yes. Alex? We're here together. Fine, but I don't need to speak to Alex on her own. I'm happy to explain things to you afterwards, but Alex is my patient. We know what we want. I'm sure you do, but I still would like to explain things to Alex first, if that's okay. You're welcome to wait outside. Fine. But she agrees. I'm sorry. Don't be, just tell me what I can do to help. You don't have to stay. I'll wait.
This is your decision. There's no pressure. I know. No one's going to make you do anything that you don't want to. We can talk about your options. You can talk to a counsellor. Whatever you choose. I know what I want. Okay. Tony's going through a really tough time right now. I don't want to make things any more difficult than they already are. <sighs> Alex, this is your choice, not just his. Yeah, I know. Look, it's complicated, okay? You don't understand. Tony's not... He's not as tough as he makes out. I need to talk to him. Why don't we just... I told you, I know what I want. And yeah, that means I'll be back for all our appointments. Let's go. Thank you. Um, just so you know, I need to drop some stuff off at the mill later. Okay, fine. I know his behaviour, Jimmy. I've seen it. She needs help. She's got all the help she needs and she can make her own choices. It's not as simple as that. Well, I'm not discussing it any further. Sarah Langley, please. Karen, it's me. Hiya. Um, is Michelle free by any chance? No, it doesn't matter. Uh, I wanted to ask her something. I'll catch up with her later. All right, bye. I'll see you next month, Mr. Ronson. So you kind of like scoop out the barrel with this spoon thing. Uh, Ruth rang, by the way. No message. Thanks. And then you text it. Huh? Hmm. Did you spit or swallow? Well, spit, of course. Scott I'd showed me. I'd have definitely swallowed. Me and Rob um, had a weekend in Paris once, French kissing under the Eiffel Tower, except that he'd eaten garlic. Oh, don't tell me about the garlic. Oh, watch out. It's still the Cherry and Scott show over there. Oh, somebody shoot me. <laughs> yeah, it's goose liver. Foie gras, are you sure? Do you want to know how they make it? Julia's reports. Right, you get your goose, they jam open its beak, really wide, and then they Mrs up. Dean, she's still waiting. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Mrs. Dean? Yeah. Did you want me? Karen said that you called. Yes, I want to ask you advice about something. Okay, one sec. Um, Miss Jensen, I'll be right with you, okay? Sorry, I just. It's fine. It's all right. Okay. I think I can deal with it. Have fun on your honeymoon. It all sounds very romantic. Bye. <sighs> hey, Matt. It's Michelle. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been forever. But I was actually calling to see if you want to go for a drink tonight, you know, just a, a catch-up and... Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, no worries. It's some of the time. <laughs> yeah, OK. OK, then. Bye, take care. Bye. Hi, it's me. Hello, you. Glad you called. What are you doing? Do you really want to know? You're asking what I think you're asking. Look, are you free or not? Depends what's on offer. Oh, forget it. No, no, no. I'm very free. I'm very easy. Good. So, shall we say my place at, um... Sorry. Um, uh, it's Dave. Hello. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, what? Uh, n no, um, 3.30. Sounds fun. <laughs> um, I I'll speak to the consultant. What? I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Sorry to interrupt. It was not anything important. Sorry. 
sorry, I just want to say one thing. Just one thing. I've been there. I had a boyfriend once. Congratulations. Like Tony. I put up with it as well. I thought behaving like that was normal. He's controlling you, isn't he? Tony's OK. It took someone else to show me that it wasn't. You don't have to put up with it. I know what you think. It's not like that. <laughs> I was in denial for a very long time. Look, Tony needs me right now, OK? He's got retakes in two days. And he's a mess because he knows if he fails these, he's got nothing. No, you can't make excuses for him. You have to face it. And you can. I know he comes across as mean and moody and can mouth off. But that's because of what he's going through. He's not like that, really. Yeah. But my ex could change, too. You're deluding yourself. I've been shown that. You have to break the cycle. You've got that baby to think about. I'm sorry, but you really don't know anything about this. I promise that I can help you. You don't have to be scared. You do at least have to acknowledge that there is a problem. What are you doing here? Nine thirty on Tuesday, Mr. Robeson. Yes, it's in the diary. Okay, bye then. It's the third time today. <laughs> I've got the afternoon free, so I'm off. Have fun. Yeah, I'll try. Hey, Jimmy! Run. Run for the hill. I want to tell you all about it. Me, Scott, the chateau, the food, the wine, the cheese. Oh, it's so heavenly. Right, but I really must try and catch Julia. So. Oh, she's not here. She's gone to see a rep. Right. It's not chateau as in real castle, by the way. Scott explained. Michelle, um, I think she wants a word. Yes. Uh, you can tell me about it later. Okay, I'm a bit tight for time. Okay. I'll give him a bonbon when he's done. Yeah, I'm sure that's just what he needs. You told me it was fixed. I was explaining something. We don't need you sticking your nose in. Yeah, well, maybe she does. What? Stop it. Because I know what you're like. You don't know diddly squat about me. Will you stop it? I've seen it all before. Oh, yeah? You've seen what? What are you going to do? You're going to hit me? This isn't about you or her. So why don't you just shut up for once? What are you doing hiding in here? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know, Jimmy. You haven't had cherry ramming lovey-dovey Scott down your throat all morning. Mm. She even said I was jealous. Can you believe it? <laughs> Are you? No. Maybe. A bit. I don't know. She, she's just so happy and smiley all the time. Nice parents, bad boyfriend. Everything's just so easy. Even her hair's perfect. Well, your hair's okay. She seems to have everything right now and. I don't seem to have anything. And I can't see that changing anytime soon. Come on, you got a lot going for you. Like what? Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> you went back, didn't you? You saw the doctor after everything we said. You interfering little. It's got nothing to do with her. She's right, though. Why should I stay with you? What? Moody, controlling, telling me what I can and can't do. And yeah, I know you've got exams and everything else, but I've stuck it out long enough. And you know what? Things are going to change. That's what you said, isn't it? Because I've been trying to tell you a long time now, Tony, waiting for the right moment till the time's right. What do you mean? I am having this baby, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. No, you're not. I can't. I told you I can't have kids right now. Well, that's fine by me, because you know what? It's not even yours. Hi, um... Late. Say the best things you want to play before. You seem pleased to see me anyway. Try not to get your head off. Because you're lying. I know you. That's your problem, Tony. You don't. You really don't. Where are you going? You can't just walk away. Why not? If he can't accept things, that's his problem. I've thought about his feelings long enough. But at least explain. You're so full of it, aren't you? All these pearls of wisdom you come out with. All right, I'll explain. Johnny Simpson. What? Yeah. 
I've been seeing him for a few months now. Remember? My best friend from college, the guy you told me I couldn't see. Well, I did. I have. And I know what a real loving relationship is. I don't believe it. I wanted to tell you. I really did. I didn't want it to be like this. I wanted to wait till after your exams, but some people don't give you that choice. How? I mean... I'm so sorry, Tony. I know what you're going through. What you don't know, because you never shut up to listen. Tony's got no one right now. His mum died this year, and his dad left when he was little, so all he had was me. And I didn't want to desert him right now. Tony's right. You know nothing about us. I never wanted this. I wanted to be there for you, but she pushed things faster than I wanted. I'm so sorry. But Johnny and I are together now. And we... We have to move on. It's over. Now, don't be so tough on yourself. I know you. I can see the sparkle coming back. The glitter, the shine, the disco ball turning. The old Michelle's still out there somewhere. Oh yes, there she, there she is. Yeah, oh she can, she will and she is, look. <laughs> Have you been eating her bonbons or something? Uh, swings and roundabouts, ups and downs. Everyone in life goes through rough patches, just look at me. You get your groove back again, I know you will. Hey, come here, before anyone sees. Hmm? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get off me now. I'll get you with the speculum. Right. <laughs> go on then. Like he said, it's over. Just go. Tony, please. What? Go and play happy families with Johnny. I was going to tell I you. I don't want to hear it. And you call me the controlling one. I've been used, abused and spat out like Are a piece of Are you happy now? I'm not sure what I've done. Aren't you? Can't you see? I would have been there for him when he needed me most. You're not seriously trying to blame me for this, are I you? just needed more time and you wouldn't let me. You don't need time, to be honest. You're seeing someone else and you're pregnant. Sorry, Tony. I don't want your pity. Like you said, it's over. So just go. Get away from me! Um, Jimmy Price has just been in. I thought that you were going to help me with him. You should have asked. Oh, I didn't know where you were. Sorry. Look, um, about what you said earlier. It doesn't matter. No. No, you're probably right. I'm a, a bit jealous. you just got so much going for you, and I, I really hope that you and Scott are happy. I mean it. I didn't mean to be mean or anything. No, it's fine. It's just since the whole needle thing, it's just been a bit difficult between us. Has it? And without trust, there's no friendship, right? Do you want me to apologise again? Because I will. No, I just want you to cheer up a bit and not be so miserable all the time. Anyway, I'm sure that in time I'll forgive you. I usually give people a second chance. Can I get you anything? Mm -hmm. You've done enough. I was just uh, trying to help. Help? You don't even know what that means. Well, she told the truth because of me, didn't she? People like you, you think you know it all. You and your hypocritical judgments thinking you know better. I didn't judge her. Like hell you did. Why can't you just leave people to live their own lives? Well, maybe you're not so innocent. You what? Why do you think that Alex went off and found someone else? Maybe your behaviour was a bit... Don't you dare. Don't you dare twist this down on me. You think she was the victim here? No, I, I just... Why can't you just admit it? You got it wrong. You stuck your nose in, you thought you knew everything and you didn't know nothing. Controlling behaviour. What book did you get that from? I'm sorry. Do you have any idea what you've done? Do you know what I've got now because of you? This would have happened anyway. 
I actually said it's over. So was I good or was I good? Your ego could do with deflating. I'll take that as a yes then. My mates are impressed anyway. You get loads of points if you bag a doctor. Tell me you haven't. What? I don't believe it. This isn't some kind of joke. And who's laughing? No, I mean it. I don't want you telling anyone. Least of all your little mates. Hey, chill out. I never said your name. I wouldn't. I don't want to spoil our fun. <sighs> yeah, right. Well, the fun is over right now. I have places to be and so have you, so out. I'll expect a call then. Out. Hey, I've still got five minutes left. We can make it happen. No. Is somebody that needs a big night out. Well, she could go to the fancy dress night at Bubblegum tonight. We are not going out. Therefore, I am not your girlfriend. Therefore, we do not ever go on dates. We'll be there, mate. You'll be eating your words. I bet you that you won't bring her. Deal? What's the bet? A terms loan in full. Jessica Fletcher is caught up in one of her own plots next here on BBC One Scotland. Stay with us for Murder, She Wrote.